Hey film shooters, I wanted to buy a point and shoot and I looked on the prices on eBay and a certain car size was pretty busy slapping his red tee on countless cameras and thus made many cameras unreachable in price. But which ones were left that you can get for little money? Say hello to the Canon MC. <laughs> The MC stands for Mega Clusterfuck, or Micro Compact, depends on who you ask. The first thing that caught my eye was that it was made by Canon, and it looked like it came straight off an 80s retrofuturism movie. The camera was introduced in 1984 and was what you would call today premium point and shoot, as it cost the equivalent of $700 and came in a red case. This camera has a 35mm 2.8 lens and I bought it for just 15 euros. Now you are wondering what the catch is with this camera. Before you think that the camera is a great alternative, I have to say that mine died after exactly one roll. So I must warn you that the camera has a reputation for dying quickly and not being reliable. But, but if you have found one that works, then this is what awaits you. Picture quality. The image quality is pretty good for a camera of this size. You could almost think Canon knows what they are doing. The pictures have a white haze in the center of the image. Other shots on the internet do not have this, so it's more likely a fault of my copy. Exposure was consistently good in all shots, but only because I overexposed plus one. Otherwise, two images would definitely be underexposed. The best image of the roll was destroyed by the miserable winding process of the camera. The vignette at f2.8 is really harsh. And here some few flash images by Tristan Sand from medium.com because I didn't get a chance to take any. Focus. You know what's great? Knowing if the focus is correct after you take the picture. The camera focuses, you release the shutter and then a little lever in the viewfinder comes down and tells you what the distance was. Genius. But stop, there is a pre-focus slider. If you press it, you can pre-focus with the shutter release button. But if the focus is wrong, tough luck, you still have to take the picture, there is no way to cancel the shot. The good thing is that the camera always hits the focus, right? Right? Wrong. The focus is often so wrong that I wonder if it's looking for a focus point by chance. Sound. Just listen. At least you can delay the winding sound by holding the shutter button down. Build. I think the camera looks fantastic and what I like most is that it's very small. The build quality is high and the front cover protects the lens and the viewfinder and feels good to open. The entire camera is plastic except for the film door, which is metal for whatever reason. In terms of design, Canon has obviously been copied from the Nippo 6A. As with the XA, you can remove the flash, which I find great, because you don't have to press the flash button 7 times to deactivate it. The camera and flash uses normal AAA batteries. These are super cheap and easy to get. The ISO reel is manual and you can use it to overexpose the film. The maximum ISO is ISO 1000. Was there ever 1000 ISO film? So the only good way to use 800 film is to overexpose it to 400. But when raw is more expensive than the camera is worth anyway. My conclusion? Looks good. Feels good. Takes pretty good pictures. And breaks while doing it. Focuses like an old mule. If you find one, make sure it works or buy it cheaply. Would I recommend it? Rather not. Even if the camera works, unfortunately the focus is so unreliable that you are better off buying another camera. Especially with today's film prices. It is painful when images don't come out. That's it with this video, you can tell me if you have an MC and how long it's arrived. Cheers!